Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today, oh, 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 wait a minute, um, don't worry about her. She is here just to make sure that I do my job in telling the true story of Captain Marvel and the Revenge of the Brood where all our heroes lose and they don't miraculously escape. Isn't that right? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is Marvel Legends Build a Figure Brood, and um, I really do hope that they build a new one because I love this, but I feel like we could do better. We could have bigger, and um, yeah, I just thought I'd put that out there. It would be fun. It's probably not really actually that fun. It's pretty actually really, really silly. Anyway, moving on. Captain Marvel issue 45, why you're here, Revenge of the Brood part three. And here it no, not not quite yet. So this is written by Kelly Thompson, who um, who makes stories um, just they just seem to flow really well. I felt like when when I've read the the last few issues of Captain Marvel, um, Kelly's work is top notch, and she makes she gives good content, good character development, and she just makes it flow. Uh, Sergio is on the art, Inca is Sean, Colorist is Arif and Yen. And Claire and Cows is on the letters. This is our adoring cast here, currently trapped out in space. So, through numerous interactions, the team in the simulation start to realize that something isn't quite right, like they forgot something, etc., etc. Thuan goes off with a headache to sort of perhaps try and filter through what she thinks is going through. Whereas Gambit soon tells her that Rogue is not his wife and we should tell everybody. But Kawan says, no, I've got another idea. Um, let's not make this uh, a really big thing. Let's keep it sort of low key. Um, and, well, I can do this. <laughs> and, well, he says, well, I'm sure it's not little and it's not quick, is it? So uh, she uses her side blade to... Um, simulate a, a reaction in a gambit in this uh, world that um, sends him waking up in the real world where he is and the others are trapped in brood restraints that are part of the brood and he uh, he struggles to cut himself out and the only way to do that is to actually slice parts of his skin now let's remember that gambit um, this isn't a simulation for one and Gambit is not, um, doesn't have a healing fat or anything. So that must hurt to escape, but, uh, you do what you have to, to escape, etc. So, um, Kawan clearly gives, uh, Captain Marvel the, the Psy tr knife treatment, which wakes her up, etc. Uh, he, uh, probably winds her up a little bit with some language and, but he frees her nonetheless. And then she can go to work while uh, Gambit is free and the others. And they are starting to get out. However, they want to get one of the brood alive, which Polaris says, it would be my pleasure to kill, to uh, clear the ranks so that we could get one. And we can try and understand what is going on here. And we got this nice, beautiful artwork here, etc. So there is some bad news. They've been infected with broodlings, but they're not sure who and off the group has been infected. Um, Captain Marvel soon realizes what Gambit had to do to escape. And I feel like this is a nice moment considering, um, I guess, how much she's grown, how much her and Rogue's relationship has grown towards... Um, yeah. Uh, what am I trying to say to some sort of conclusion where they could both move on and bear in mind that that felt like that sort of was many years ago um, and I can't remember exactly how that came to some conclusion but you know that she's going to say Gambit you know you're you were my my nemesis is um husband but you know what you did a good thing I'm gonna make sure that I'll look after you so that you can go home safely um there's a moment here which I, I probably don't understand not being a reader of Captain uh, Marvel where she says that in the simulation she didn't drink. Um, so I'm presuming she's had some problem with alcohol in the past, similar to Tony Stark perhaps. 
but um, I don't know that, so I'm not going to comment on that, but I thought I'd mention it. So there are two potential um, candidates out there that they can rescue. So they've got to split into two teams. Um, they're playing with Wolverine in Pacific. They should kill her. However, they didn't do it quickly. Um, not that it would matter. This Wolverine would end up back on... Um, back on... Uh, earth etc and um i'm just realizing that this is this is young wolverine isn't it this is old isn't old lady wolverine no this is young wolverine this what sorry my brain wasn't working then so old lady wolverine hasn't been found in the vault yet so um this is young wolverine anyway um they've got some problems the brood are above, however, they are not designed to attack, but they are designed to kill Laura. So, um, so they start getting into a fight, and they feel like it's a bit of deja vu, where, you know, and perhaps they're probably a bit worried, are they in a simulation again, or are they not? Or do they lose here and end up in some sort of simulation? And maybe the brood should consider what that simulation is, because they figured it out really quickly. So, Captain Marvel does her thing, where she blasts it all out. Then she gets all bossy and gives the orders of who's going where. So we got two teams, Wolverine, Gambit, Polaris, and Hazmat. Uh, in her own monologue, she um, she talks about she's ha she would like Hazmat to stay with her, but she's comfortable knowing that the X-Men will protect her. Plus, she needs Psylocke to help break Binary out when they find her. And uh, obviously, Spider-Man goes with her. And Captain Marvel's the most powerful of the group, let's be honest. So... She can take a smaller group, whereas me, Polaris, and, and Wolverine and Gambit can certainly take care of himself. But it's nice to have a good team. So, um, yeah, they're um, they t uh, the brood uh, empress is so they're they're talking about um, being concerned, and she says, No, I'm not concerned. We've laid lots of traps carefully, and um, our new world we demand power. So, they mentioned that earlier in the in the issue that. There is some sort of idea where they want to ensure that they get uh, mutants or heroes powers so that they can go and do what they need in, t in this bigger world, which is uh, this war, etc. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. So, like I said, it's just flow. Really, really easy. Really issue, issue. Really easy. Uh, issue 19 of x-men has connected cover with uh, captain marvel 46 i have both of them so i will show them both together yeah really cool issue had lots of fun um i hope you liked my my video where i sort of run through these things etc um the cover is a bit deceiving where you think that there's a brood rogue there but uh there isn't so from that perspective a little bit disappointed but hey ho is what it is anyway hope you like my video if you do please support my channel by subscribing um thank you to everybody that is subscribing my channel i really appreciate you folks uh make sure you look after yourself very important these days and as always embrace geekiness take care goodbye